Gracious Heavenly Father. We come with thanksgiving on our hearts. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And praise on our lips. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to set the atmosphere yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. in this your house. Yes, Lord. We ask you to have your way, have your way Lord. in your house. We ask you, Father, to forgive us of all the wrong that we've done. Yes. We ask you to create in us a clean heart, oh God. Yes. And to re renew in us a steadfast spirit, yes. restoring us the joy of your salvation yes. as we strive to bear good fruit, yes. as we strive to serve you. And right now, Lord, we ask you to simply fall fresh. Hallelujah. In this your house. We ask that you flow from heart to heart and from breast to breast. But most importantly, Lord, we ask that you increase. And that we might decrease. So that your people hear a fresh word from you. It is my prayer that the word is encouraged. It is directed. And it shows us a better way to do it. So we ask you to speak, Lord Jesus, speak. Yes, Lord. We ask you to touch, Lord Jesus, touch. Yes, For thy name, the kingdom. Yes, Lord. The power and the glory. And it is in Jesus' strong and matchless name. We all pray. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. And give God one more hand. The Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter number four, verse 23a, and it reads as follows from the New King James Version of the Bible. And Jesus went about all Galilee. Yes. The word of the Lord is blessed. Yes. I want to encourage you from the subject, overflow. All right. Amen. Overflow. Overflow. All right. Overflow. All right. All right now. And for a thing, I want to give you one today, mm -hmm. is that we can get to a place mm. of overflow which is productive discipleship. If we trust God with everything that we have, if we don't try to figure everything out on our own and in our own strength, Amen. and if we are willing to acknowledge God in all we do, Hallelujah. And be willing to listen to God's voice yes, Lord. before and as we move. Yes. All right. So we'll experience the overflow. The, the songwriter simply states, we are marching to Zion. Hallelujah. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. Yes. HMBC, we're marching unto Zion, the beautiful city of Almighty God. Amen. About a decade ago, as I walked through the back doors of the church with the uncertainty of being away from Chicago, in a new place. All right. Being in a new culture. Yeah. With the burden of being a young and new pastor. All right. At this time, we simply just called him Ray Smith. All right. He uttered these words to me as I headed out the back door going towards the fellowship hall. He simply said, 
stay the course. All right. All right. All right. Am I right, Greg? Amen. Right. He said, stay the course. Yes, yeah. And now, almost 11 years later, All right. Amen. he's no longer ready. <laughs> he's Deacon Smith. Amen. All right. MIT Smith. All right. BBS leader Smith. Amen. Sunday school assistant Smith. Yeah. And we are still striving to stay the course. Yeah. But I want to encourage you on today, HMBC, as we strive to go deeper into discipleship to simply stay the course. Amen. There are going to be hard times, but we have to oh, yeah. endure and stay the course. Yes. I want to encourage you, don't get weary in doing well. Stay the course. Yes. yes. Stay the course. Stay the course. And you will experience the overflow. All right. It ain't going to be easy. But we will experience Amen. the overflow. Yeah. Right. Bishop William Murphy gives us insight on how we should view what God can do. All right. When we seek to create an atmosphere of love and productivity in the church. Yeah and in the world for ministry to take place. He simply says, my God, you are my strength. You are strength like no other. All right. God, you are strength like none other. And your strength that is like none other See, it reaches to you, and it reaches All right. to little on me. All right. All right. He goes on to say, my God, in the fullness of your grace, yeah. in the awesome power of your um, incomparable name, you lift me up. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it good to know, without a doubt, when we have disappointments, and when we have concerns, that no man or woman can resolve, God lifts us up. Yeah. As we seek yeah. greater reverence of our Lord and greater service to the Most High, even when it gets difficult, God lifts us up. Yeah. Yeah. On the rough roads of life, mm -hmm. and in the midst of our burdens and moments, we can have the overflow because God lifts us up yeah. in the moments of good health. And even in the moments of not so good health, yeah. God still lifts us up Hallelujah. when we can find our way. Hallelujah. And even when we can't find our way, we don't give up, we don't quit, because God is lifting us up higher Hallelujah. when we don't know how to proceed. Yeah. And we feel like giving up, we have the courage to go on a little while longer because God yes. lifts us up. Yes, See, my brothers and my sisters, I want us all to know without doubt, no matter what we are enduring, well, and beloved, all of us are enduring something right now. And no matter what it looks like, if it be good, if it be bad, or neutral, yeah. we can worship God on today because he's available yeah. and accessible to all of us. Amen. Do I have some folks Amen. who are happy up in here because God is available yeah. and God is accessible even in the midst of your struggle, in the midst trouble and your hard times. And because God is available. Yeah. Because God is accessible. Yeah. We 
can experience yeah. your flow. Mm. See, I want us to understand as we seek to go forward well. and we prepare ourselves mm -hmm. to launch out into the deeper waters of ministry, mm -hmm. many times there's going to be that. Many times, there are going to be questions. And let me throw this here parenthetically. It's okay to ask God questions. Yeah. Amen. Just don't doubt what he can do. Amen. Amen. You're preaching. Amen. And oftentimes, we will face and have to maneuver through opposition. Yeah. But God is still available. Yes. Stay your course. Yes. Stay your yes. course. Yes. Oh, yes. He's still accessible. All right. Yes. Come in, Deacon Smith. Stay the course. Uh -huh. Don't be weary in what you're going through. All right. And the one thing that we have in common, my brothers and sisters, that we all endure obstacles. Yeah. Oh, yes. We all have complications yeah. when it comes to our bodies. There's always something trying to get in between us and God. Yeah. But in spite of it all, it doesn't change the fact that He is God and God alone and He is acceptable and He's available to you and to me. And because of that, to the super because of that, we can still be productive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. When trouble may be parked on our street. Yeah. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. We can still be productive mm -hmm. when we don't see eye to eye. Yeah. We can still be productive yeah. even though I'm from Satan and you're from the Big Apple. Yeah. All right. Because God, see, let me say something. God is available in Chicago. Yes, he is. He's accessible in Chicago. Yes, Amen. The same way he is in New York. Amen. So there's no excuse for a lack of productivity amongst the saints. Amen. I would encourage you that if we proceed, even in the midst of hard times, if we proceed, how God has instructed us yes. to proceed. Yes. Yes. If we allow him to be the source of our strength, yes. if we allow him to be our portion forever, we will experience an overflow of ministry in our lives. All right. It's not going to be easy. But there will be an overflow. Yes. There will be mountains we will have to climb. Yeah. But we will experience the overflow. There will be obstacles. I can guarantee it with the primary purpose to neutralize our progress. Yeah. Come on now. But because of Jesus, yeah. there will be an overflow. People may not like the fact that God called you but we can still experience the overflow. Why? Because great is our faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All oh, the HMBC needs, the hands has provided. Great is our faithfulness to HMBC. My brothers and my sisters, isn't it good to know that no matter what we encounter in life, God is faithful, yes. and his faithfulness is great. Yes. If no one else joins us as we seek to move forward in progress, God is faithful, yes. and his faithfulness is great. When we get fatigued, weary, and worn out, God is still faithful, and his faithfulness is great. When depression and agitation try to creep into our lives. God is still faithful. Yes, he is. And
his faithfulness is still great. When agitators try to to halt the progress and knock us off the wall, God is faithful. And his faithfulness is great. No, never alone. No, we are never alone because he promised never to leave HMBC. Never to leave us alone. Even in the midst of the struggle. Hallelujah. And even though I may experience struggle, mm. I feel good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because God is faithful. Yes, yes. And his faithfulness is great. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever experienced his faithfulness? Oh yeah. Let me hear you if you've experienced it. Oh, yeah. Has God been good to you? But in the midst mm. of hard times, well, yes. even mm. with COVID-19 back on the rise, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on, man. Thank you. Tell your neighbor that ain't gonna stop me. Amen. Stop. Amen. Stop. Stop. That ain't gonna stop me because no matter what the enemy throws our way, we are going boldly. To a place where we have never been before. Amen. And I guarantee you, if we follow the blueprint, yes. we will experience. Yes, yes, we will. The overflow. Yes, yes we will. Matthew. My brothers and my sisters, who we know was a former tax collector. Yes. Uh-huh. He was an employee. Of the Roman Empire. Yeah. He was called out, even though the folk didn't like him. Oh, yes. He was called out by Jesus yeah. yes. to be a disciple. Uh-huh. Yes. An apostle. Yeah. Uh-huh. And the evangelist. Yeah. Yeah. I distinguish that more reason. Nah, come on. Because they all have three different functions under the same commander. All right. Yeah. And they all go hand in hand together. Because a disciple is a learner. Uh An apostle is a sick one. Uh And the evangelist shared the gospel. Uh So he was called out. Let me see. Ancient BC, we were called out. All right. All right. Walking heavy. To be disciples. Yeah. Come on. To walk in the apostolic, that means we're sick ones. Yeah. That means we just don't spend our time here in the church. But we go be there for it. Oh, yeah. We teach our nation. Yeah. We baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe. Yes. And it's our, it is our mandate. Yes. Yes. To be evangelizers. Oh, yes. And encouragers. Yes. Of those who don't know Christ. Yes. Oh, yes. In the pardon of their sins. Yes, mm. So he was called out by Jesus to be a disciple, mm-hmm. an apostle, and an evangelist. And we understand that he is the author of this text. Mm-hmm. And we also understand Deacon Grant that it was approved by the early church fathers. In the early church. Uh-huh. He wants to simply inform us that Jesus of Nazareth yes. is the son of the living God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes, sir. But per Matthew, Jesus, the son of God, he went. That's really all I want to talk about today. He went mm-hmm. through all of Galilee of the Gentiles. Yeah. Understand he went mm-hmm. obediently. Mm-hmm. All right. Elder Kim, he went consistently. Yes. Uh, uh, he went purposefully. I hope somebody's writing this down. He went prayerfully. Yeah. Yes. He went compassionately. Yeah. Uh-huh. He went with civility. Mm-hmm. And he went humbly mm-hmm. 
yet boldly. Amen. What does that tell us? Because in the text, we must go. Yes. Obediently. All right. Obediently to the word of God. Yes. Not the word of self. We must be consistent as we go. Yes. We must have a purpose as we go. Yes. We must be prayerful yes. as we go. Yes. We must be compassionate yes. as we go. As we go. Yes. We must act civilly yes. as we go. And we must go in all humility. But we go with the boldness of Jesus Christ. Yes. Because we all declare for Christ I will live. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And for Christ I will die. Hallelujah. We understand that Jesus went forth in ministry. Yes. Purposeful mm -hmm. ministry. In Galilee of the Gentiles. Yes. Yeah. And what we know about Galilee of the Gentiles, to make it plain, it was a spiritually barren land. And Jesus went forth, bringing forth light into a place where there was utter darkness. All right. Check this out. He brought nourishment. Yes. To a land yes, that was barren. Oh, yes. My brothers and my sisters, as we observe Jesus going, yes. and as we seek to be productive ambassadors Hallelujah. of the kingdom, we must understand that if we want an overflow to take place when it comes to ministry, we must recognize. The fact that the place that we dwell in is now barren land. All right. It is barren land because this nation has grown away from Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. There used to be a time when Jesus is teaching. And Jesus himself was the focal point All right. of our lives and was the focal point of our communities. Yes. However, we've got the way from Jesus being our focus. And we are slowly but surely shifting away as a country towards being promoters of self All right. in need of attention. And we have more focus on gratifying the flesh than gratifying others. All right. The shift in our world is due because Christ has been min 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 minimalized. All right. He has been pushed to the side. Yeah. And because Jesus has been pushed to the side, the crops are starting to wither. All right. All right. The rain is going away. Mm -hmm. And we are dwelling in a barren land. Amen. But the change from a barren land to a land overflowing with delicious edible fruit, it begins in the household of faith. Amen. My God. Due to the fact that this is a spiritually barren land, well. we need to have a mindset to bring some soil. What I'm trying to say is we need to bring some substance. All right. And we need to tend 
diligently to the vegetation. And we must be willing to leave our place of comfort. All right. To tend to the soil and the vegetation in this barren land. Mm -hmm. We do this by following the example of Jesus or by simply going forth. Check this out. When we go forth, we go forth being equipped. And not only are we equipped, Sister Sharon, but we are willing to equip other folks. Amen. Amen. We must be willing to live the truth about Jesus and teach the truth about Jesus and the gospel of Jesus Christ to those who are lost and be willing to encourage those who have already been found. Yes. Amen. If I could be so bold, on today, Jesus' primary objective in this particular season of his ministry was to bring an overflow of light into the land of the shadow of death. He would do this, listen closely, by teaching the truth about God Amen. in their churches. I missed that. He taught the truth about God in the, their synagogues, oh, yeah. in the synagogues of Galilee. Amen. He proclaimed or he preached the gospel of the kingdom of God. Yes. And Jesus healed every disease and affliction among the people. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, if you look closely, Jesus brought the overflow. If an overflow is going to take place in HMBC, if an overflow is going to take place in Central Iceland, if an overflow is going to take place in the state of New York, and if an overflow is going to overtake the world, the church has to do Amen. Simply what Jesus did. And boldly go into the darkness as representatives of the light. Yes, HMBC, it is our official order from God yes. to bring an overflow of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And this Jesus is the light of life. Yeah. And we are to bring this Jesus into the heart of those dwelling in the land of the shadow of death. Yeah. It is time yeah. for the overflow. So with all of that said, how do we get to a place of overflow? Or productive discipleship well, when we find ourselves serving people, yeah. people. found in the land mm -hmm. of the shadow of death. Of death. Deacon with a black ass. Number one, to get to a place of productive discipleship, we must trust our God who is sovereign mm -hmm. for direction so we know that where we are going is where we need to be. Well, yes. Tell your neighbor, Jesus knows where the fish are. Well, in the name of Point number two, to get to a place of productive discipleship we must totally and holistically rely on God's power to sustain us so we are able by the aid of the Holy Spirit 
to see our way through and make our way through. Yes. My Lord. Point number three. Uh-huh. In the midst mm. of our service, yeah, yeah. to get to a place of productive discipleship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen to the closer. Uh-huh. We must trust uh-huh. that God will provide. Yeah. Oh, yes. He will protect. Yes, he will. And he will maintain, which is defined as he will keep us alive no matter what comes our way. No matter what. Amen. So we rely on God's direction. Yes, Lord. We rely on God's power. Yes, Lord. We trust in the fact that God will provide. My Lord. God will protect and he will keep us alive until the work is done. The songwriter said, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's hand and sinners plunged beneath that flood move all their guilty stains. As we strive to go forth in the ministry of converting the lost, don't stop, no retreat, no surrender. When it comes to preparing ourselves to go and to do the work, HMBC, don't stop, no retreat, no surrender. When the call from God is to teach, when the call from God is to preach when the call from God is to live and to heal don't stop don't throw in the towel no retreat no surrender when our fellow laborers need equipping need encouraging and need healing don't stop get back to work no retreat no surrender when God requires an obedient vessel when God is decreeing consistency in our lives when the world needs someone who will serve purposefully and holistically no retreat no surrender when the church needs compassion when the church needs civility no retreat no surrender when the church needs humility when the church needs a word from God don't stop keep loving keep your cool walk in meekness always be prepared in season in our season HMB seeking red, no retreat, no surrender. The songwriter says, I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights of the game, each and every day. Still praying as I onward bow, Lord, plant my feet on the higher ground. Lord, pick me up and let me stay.
be encouraged because there was nothing more precious than Jesus to me. I am rich and I can be when Jesus I see. He is my covering in the midst of my storm. I'm happy with Jesus and Jesus alone. We are pressing for the overflow because he is our covering in the midst of the storm. We're going to deal with opposition. He is our covering in the midst of the storm. With the forceful restraints of opposition seeking to overcome us, we are observing well, what Jesus commanded us to do well, because we're walking in the overflow. Who is this Jesus? This Jesus is where the Savior the of God. You're the bright and morning star. See, they march Jesus. From judgment hall to judgment hall, they whipped him all night long. They crucified our Savior to a low, rugged cross. He died. They didn't take his life. He laid it down. He laid it down.
the land of the shadow of death. Amen. Yes. They're looking yes. for that spark. Yes. And that spark is Jesus. Yes. Yes. And you have to understand, church, that on most days, you are the only example of Jesus some people see. You may be the only example they will ever see. So it's important that we are living an overflow lifestyle. Amen. Amen. As we strive to go like Jesus.